Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 30th of August, Wednesday of the week of Pentecost 13. Clement of Alexandria, oh, watch these dates. 150 to 212. But learn thou the more excellent way, which Paul shows for salvation. Love seeketh not her own, but is diffused on the brother. About him she is fluttered, about him she is soberly insane. Love covers a multitude of sins. Perfect love cast out fear, vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, love never faileth. Prophecies are done away, tongues cease, gifts of healing fail on the earth, but these three abide, faith, hope, love, but the greatest of these is love. And rightly, for faith departs when we are convinced by vision, by seeing God, and hope vanishes when the things hoped for come. But love comes to completion and grows more when that which is perfect has been bestowed. If one introduces it into his soul, although he be born in sins and has done many forbidden things, he is able, by increasing love and adopting a pure repentance, to retrieve his mistakes. Let not this be left to despondency and despair by you if you learn who the rich man is that has not a place in heaven and what way he uses his property. And the prayer, Alan Payton, 1903-1988. Lord, help me to give myself when I am giving. Teach me to give without thought of receiving and to receive without thought of giving. Teach me not to withhold or to withdraw myself. Teach me to hoard nothing, love, mercy, time, possessions. Make me ready to give even my life if it is required of me. And while I have it, use it as an instrument of your peace. Amen.